it's uh, day 72 of Roots of Change, and I'm starting my hand bike uh, leg of the trip. Heading towards Winnipeg from Thunder Bay on this thing. Here I go. I uh, just had my longest break of the trip. I think it was almost 10 days there, maybe even more in Thunder Bay because I had to wait for this bike to arrive and uh, had a lot of stuff to do as well. But uh, it's good to be back on the road, even if I'm moving very slow and it's gonna be a painful 800K or so to Winnipeg. Um, but uh, yeah, feeling good and I'm uh, very grateful to, to all the big trucks who uh, go into the opposite lane and avoid me very far. A bit sketchy at times because they almost cause head-on collisions. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And uh, I'd just like to say thank you to all the truckers out there who uh, are very uh, polite and uh, give me lots of room here on the shoulder. Often the trucks seem to give me more room than the uh, than the little cars. Who would be it would be a lot easier for them to give me room, more room. Today was my first day on the recumbent hand bike. It was a hard day, <laughs> to say the least. I got a late start. I left Thunder Bay, moving very slow going uphill. And uh, the brakes on this thing do not work that well. I had to like, stop at the bottom of a hill using my shoes because the brake just wasn't working. I was coming to like a stop, red stoplight that was going into a construction zone and there was some one lane traffic coming straight at me. So that was pretty scary. Um, I had to like burn some rubber on my shoes. I actually smelt the rubber burning and uh, these shoes don't really have the thickest uh, soles. I might have to get a new pair of shoes pretty soon here. Other than that, the bike was pretty good. Uh, I had some numb hands, numb lower back. Sore shoulders for sure. It's, uh, feeling pretty good about it. I made 75 kilometers today, which I feel like I can do a lot more. I didn't start till like 10:30 or 11 today, and then, like I say, there's a lot of uphills. I think it's going to be flatter from here on in. So tough to describe the texture. It's like hard but dry and powdery. And it says that freeze drying or lycophilization removes water from the ice cream by lowering the air pressure to a point where ice shifts from a solid to a gas. The ice cream is placed in a vacuum chamber and frozen until the water crystallizes. The air pressure is lowered, creating a vacuum, forcing air out of the chamber. Next, heat is applied, vaporizing the ice. Finally, a freezing coil traps the vaporized water. This process continues for hours, resulting in a perfect freeze-dried ice cream slice. I've got a Neapolitan, here's some chocolate. Very good. I think my favorite is the vanilla though. Ah. Ah. So it's uh, day two on the recumbent hand bike. I posted a photo for somebody who had asked as to how you shift the bike. And thankfully, uh, Justin Tilson, the fine gentleman who uh, lent me the bike, pointed out that my uh, handlebar was uh, upside down. Uh, so now I've adjusted it and it feels a lot more comfortable. That said, it's still very hard going uphill and I uh, could easily be walking faster. Hello? Hey? Oh, hey Ken, how's it going? company on the road. It's you. knows all too well that she has me. She is the air that I breathe. She is 
the birds and the bees. She has the poison ivy that strangles me. She is the moon and the stars. She is the raw iron bars. She is the I just had an amazing stay in Atacokan with Ken and Tammy Fakes. And I went to the Atacokan High School to the hospital and spoke with elderly people who had dementia or Parkinson's. And then I went to the Atacokan Youth Center in town there and hung out with some kids who were like sort of a teenage after school program. They have a sweet little space with video games and game tables and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, all around pretty awesome. She 